Peter Schrager here to take us through a little internet stuff. We love this stuff. It's going to be yeah, just yeah, fantastic. It's one nice of my favorite segments. Up. And it's good that Peter actually learned that you can't have an active cell phone on the set. We just learned that part of the lesson. So he's almost like James Brown now. You know, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. can just, how, what does JB do to get loose? I, 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 I. So if you do a little of that, yeah. then you'll be ready. Gotta get your jaw TV. loose. Yeah. Chris doesn't have to get his jaw loose. It's always oiled. Nice to play. Uh, I'm here with also with Juiced Bill Burr, up. the comedian today. We're excited to have you, Bill. Thanks for it's having nice us. Nice to be on. here. Thank you. Now, we're talking about Twitter, and one of the reasons you're not on Twitter is you said last week you're scared you will get in a fight with everyone who writes bad comments to you. Mm -hmm. Bill has over 127,000 followers. He's on stage all the time dealing with hecklers. How do you deal with Twitter followers that come at you and are aggressive? I just ignore them. They're animals. They're subhuman. <laughs> I'll do, I just try to annoy them back. I'll like correct their spelling. <laughs> I'll tell them to go hug their dad, go work out their family issues. If I can somehow figure out where they're from, I'll pick the worst part of the city's history. I'll do that, but mostly you just ignore them. Yeah. And it just let you let it fall into the abyss. But you must I, love it when come, when you're on stage and somebody in the audience says something to you. You just you got you're ready. I, I don't mind that because I can you're see ready him. for him. I yeah. can see him. It's it's when you're sitting at home and you know you're gonna have a piece of toast, <laughs> you're feeling good about yourself, yeah, yeah. and somebody calls you a mongoloid, and you're just like ah <laughs> you, can, you it. cannot <laughs> do it. The one thing I've learned is never check Twitter right before you go to bed. Because there's no way you can go no. to sleep. Now, no. you're, you're fired up now. You're ready to go. You would, you would be psychotic. No, you no, would, no, want no. To, you would get in a car and, like, drive to Denver to whoop their ass over there. Oh, well, I you know you got to remember do. now, I, I played in New York, so I had a few things pretty negative written about me over the years. Just a few. Do you have any interact, like a long going interaction with a fan or someone coming at you on Twitter? No, I, I, I went too far with somebody, and it, some, it got to the point the person was literally praying that my plane was going to crash. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, and then, then my girl was finally brought up. Uh, who was that girl there? It's Selena. Brought her up. I was going, remember that? And I was like, all right. And then after that, I just sort of, yeah, I sort of, yeah. Yeah, you can't. That's... I think it was because I, I, I did some bit. I made fun of uh, whoever was president at the time. And that's what you do as a comedian. You make yeah, fun of him. This sure. guy was a staunch whatever the hell he was. You make fun of Chris ever? <laughs> he just ever? came at me. Do you make Chris, fun of Chris? I actually, I'm one of the few football fans that actually <laughs> likes Chris. Wow. And I don't feel that he hates my team. Yeah. I think he's honest. Oh, wait, the Patriots, there you go, Chris. The there Patriots you go. are it, just it. not that, getting Bill, there it we done. go. There yeah. we go. That, hey, be nice to my team today. Yeah, then yeah. you're no, fine. Oh, no. I get that every week I go in the stadium. Hey, Phil, be nice to us today. Well, 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 who are you talking to? I, I get it from the owners now. I do, I, and, and I. It's like unbelievable. Be nice, be nice to your team. Tell them to play well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, if they play well, I'll be nice to your team. Yeah. No, that's why I don't get mad. Because if you can just take your, as a fan, if you can just take yourself out of the love for your team and just really listen to what he's saying about the other team, you just call people on their stuff. So it took me a while though. It was oh, yeah. Four or five that's years possible. where I was like, Collinsworth hates the Pats. <laughs> yeah. he, he signs up to do the games just to trash my team. No, it's good. Monday night, Jets, Texans. Good game. It was pretty fun to watch. Twitter was alive. One player in particular, an oh, ex-player. Wait. Who? <laughs> Oh, I thought you were talking about, they were talking about somebody. Terrell Owens came out, okay? Owens says, hey, Jets, I'm available. I'm ready, willing, and able. Call my agent, and let's make it happen. David Clowney, another former wide receiver, came out and said, hey, New York Jets, I love you. I know you still love me. Mike T, I still love you, too. Wow. Chris, all these ex-receivers coming out of the woodwork here on Twitter. I was waiting for your tweet to, to Mr. Ryan, Mr. Tannenbaum. <laughs> Didn't come. What would you think of all these guys coming out and saying, you can hire us? Go for it. You know, why not? Sure. I mean, You're looking you, for a job. I, I don't blame them. You used to have an agent to go begging for you. Now you can do it on Twitter. Yeah, why not? Go for it. You know, it, and sometimes you create a little ground swirl, yeah. and, and there was. I mean, no, right? Well, I mean, yeah, T.O. I mean, they clearly the went back. Now. They went back Rex and talked to about, talk about Terrell it. Owens. You could yeah. tell because they came out the next day. Like, no, we're not interested. But you could tell they had a conversation about it. <laughs> you know, the begging, the begging part of it, does that kind of remind you of your days when you were single, the begging? <laughs> Yeah, and as a receiver, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Same sort of thing. Boomer, you please just throw me one today. That's all. Yeah, Boomer, is. throw me one that's not where I have to jump. <laughs> Back then, they could hit you. I spent some time surfing the Inside the NFL official Facebook page today. Oh, oh good okay. lord. We were talking lord about it, saying, let's go, let's take a look, see what people are saying. And there were some very interesting comments. Oh, there. boy. This is not going to be good for I want to give one. These both came from female viewers. I want to give one that we heard for you and one that we heard for you and get your thoughts on it, all right? Just get loaded up. Yeah, this no, one, no, nothing this, from the internet. I'm not good at good. firing back, but I'm yeah, already ready. Turn it over. Oh, go ahead. Okay. This one comes from Cindy Young. She writes, Phil, get a room already. Your love fest with Peyton Manning is making me nauseous. Oh, well, good. Throw up. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you don't 
What do I say that's not true about Peyton Manning? <laughs> I mean, you know, look, I want to get on him. And, and at the opportunity, right? Careful how you well. say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. I want to say bad things about <laughs> him. That's, that's terrible. This is the internet. We can say this thing. No, it's the internet. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's, 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 it. that's the newest one that's going to be on ESPN now. You're trying. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> hey, wait. I'll bring up some of your lines. You want me? I won't even uh, say your God. lines. I don't even no, that, that's how you got to come at them on the internet. You just have to have no, no quarter. I mean, come on. That's exactly that's how the they response, come at right? So she's, well, see, people like that, that's fine. Their They're haters. Yep. She's a hater. So she hates Peyton Manny. Maybe, who, what, where was she from? Doesn't say where. Just Cindy Well, maybe Young. her team, whatever. You know, I don't know. Get over it. Okay. Phil, I mean, Chris, I'm sorry. This one's for you. All right, sorry. Katya Tonsky writes, and you'll like this what? one. What? That's her name. Katya? Chris Collinsworth, dot, 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 for sexiest man alive. Oh, God, I knew you were going to say that. See, that's, hey, what, that's nice. the kind of stuff. I can answer this okay, one. Okay, you got that it. That girl right. is a very intelligent. Put my Twitter address <laughs> there on There it is. Right there. Right there. That's good. I, hey, what's her name again? Wait, what's her name? Katya Tonsky. Hey, Katya. Listen, I've seen him naked. Trust me, it's just not that nice. So you want to you want to get on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Get on him and get to you naked. You're good. So right, how would one. you compare the two? Like naked? Would you rather see Peyton or uh, Chris? Oh, Collins jeez, be quiet, man. <laughs> this is gonna be a good show today. Stay yeah. tuned, folks. We're gonna light it up today.